I'm Hemda Mizrahi, the host and producer of Turn the Page, a global weekly internet radio show. I'd like to tell you about an episode of my show called Improvising Careers, Preparing for Jobs that Don't Exist Yet. This topic is about how you can recreate your work life again and again to keep pace with changing times and your own needs to grow and express yourself in new ways. My guest was Chris Bishop, who writes, consults, and speaks on the topic of improvising careers. Chris is on his ace career. Segment one of this episode offers three ingredients that can help you to make successful career transitions. Segment two is about planning for your next career while you're still working. Segment three identifies the skills that are necessary for success in our global work landscape, which may shed light on some of the gaps that would be important for you to fill in order to successfully change careers multiple times. I included the full link to the episode so you can hear more. Here's a short clip to get you started. Chris, how would you define the skills that are necessary for success in this innovative work climate that you described? So I like to quote the woman who actually hired me at IBM, again, much to my surprise. I interviewed with the woman who was the VP of Corporate Internet Programs, which is at the time a fledgling internal organization as IBM was trying to figure out how to use this new technology, the World Wide Web, to drive the business model, right? And she said to me in in our interview, the same qualities that made you successful as a freelance musician in Manhattan will make you successful in IBM. And before I give you this list, I want to mention that Laszlo Bach, who's the chief people officer at Google, uh, echoes this sentiment in his book and in interviews that he conducts as well. The traits are you're going to have to be a creative problem solver. You're going to have to be resourceful and resilient. You're going to have to be comfortable with ambiguity. You're going to have to work across disciplines, have a sense of what people are doing in different parts of the business or the organization. And you're going to have to be aware of your role as a global citizen because you're going to be working with and competing against people all over the world. Right? Thomas Friedman's book, The World is Flat. So those are the characteristics that I would encourage certainly young learners and anybody listening today to, to focus on. At the risk of sounding confrontational, I think STEM is a band-aid. I think it's a near-term solution to focus on science, technology, engineering, and math. That the real skills align more with what Fareed Zakari describes in his book in defense of a liberal arts education. It's the ability to look across uh, a range of disciplines and topic areas uh, and be able to identify what's coming because products and services at all organizations are evolving constantly. So they're looking for employees that can adapt and adjust and learn and unlearn and relearn to drive the business model. You know, we're no longer making this, we're making that. In this short clip, Chris shared three key points. One, the same strengths that made you successful in what you've been doing will make you successful in your next career. Two, The skills that you'll need include being a creative problem solver, being resourceful and resilient, being comfortable with ambiguity, and versatile in working across different disciplines, as well as being aware of your role as a global citizen. Chris also suggested that a liberal arts education helps to facilitate the learning agility that's increasingly required stating that you'll need to have the flexibility to learn, unlearn, and relearn different things. Access the link to the full episode so you can hear more.